term 2018 the first question is on variance and this is how we find the variance using this formula so let's determine the mean which is sigma x over n so we sum all these so 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 8 all over 8 so this is 32 over 8 which is 4 so the mean is 4 so now our variance will be equal to 3 minus 4 all squared plus 2 minus 4 all squared plus 3 minus 4 all squared plus 6 minus 4 all squared and we have plus 4 minus 4 all squared plus 4 minus 4 again all squared then plus 8 minus 4 all squared all over 8 so this is giving us 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 0 plus another 0 since we are left at 1 of the 6 1 of the 2 so it is 2 minus 4 again all squared 2 minus 4 again all squared so we have plus 0 plus 16 plus 4 so this is 30 over 8 and this will give us 3.75 now we have this so we express log 45 in terms of log 2 and log 3 so this gives us 9 times 5 so this is the same as log 9 base 10 plus log 5 base 10 so this is equal to log base 10 of 3 squared plus log 5 this is the same as 2 log so all these are in base 10 so 2 log 3 plus log 5 now this is giving us by substitution we get 2 times 0 .0, 0 0.4771 plus log 5 which is log 5 is zero point six nine nine zero so you value this to obtain one point six five three two so we have this one w varies inversely as t so w is equal to a certain constant times one over t times one over t so we substitute w equal two then t equal 3. This implies that our k is equal to 6. So our equation now becomes w is equal to 6 over t. So when t equal 24, we substitute to find w to be 6 over 24, which is equal to 1 over 4. Now we have this, so we list the element of the set. So set u has the following element. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on up to 28. Then P is equal to multiples of 6. So we have 6, 12, 18, 24. That's 24. Then we have multiples of 4, which is we have 4, 8, 12, 16. Then we have 20, 24, 28. So P union Q, P union Q will be equal to 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 18, 20, 24, 28. So P union Q complement P union Q complement will be equal to 2, 2, 10, 14, 22, 26. So we have this because this is parallel to this, so this is equal to this. Alternate angles are equal, 
and we're told that these two angles are equal this is equal to this so this is also 54 degrees now we add all this in the triangle KMN so angle KMN plus 35 plus 54 plus another 54 is equal to 180 so angle KMN is equal to 180 minus so if you want the full solution you can click the link below to get the complete solution so we have 37 degrees now we have this we are rationalizing the denominator so we have root 2 times root 2 minus 1 over root 2 minus 1 so the top one gives us root 2 minus 1 this is difference of 2 squares so root 2 all squared minus 1 squared so this will give us root 2 minus 1 all over 1 which is root 2 minus 1 so we have this and we want to evaluate it correct to one decimal place so what I will do now we have several ways I will multiply until I get whole numbers so multiply this by 100 to give me 1 to 5 and this one to by 1000 to give me 25 so because I multiply the top by 100 by 1000 I need to multiply the down which is the denominator also by the same value so we have times 100 0 0.05 times 100 times 1000 so this gives us 1 to 5 times 25 over 5 times 1000 so 5 goes into 25 5 times so this will give us 6 to 5 over 1000 and this is equal to 0 0.625 so correct to one decimal place we are going to get 0 0.6 So click the link below for more or to get the rest of the solution. So we are finding the median of this. Finding the median of this. So we find the array by arranging all these in ascending order or descending order. So we get something like this. 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9. So we have 15, so this is the seventh one. So in the middle is 5. Now the midpoint of this is very simple x1 plus x2 over 2, then y1 plus y2 over 2. So we just sub in the values. We have negative 5 plus negative 3 over 2, then we have 4 plus negative 2 over 2 so this gives us negative 4 1 negative 4 1 so we are factorizing this so we have something like this 4 bx if you want the full solution subscribe to my channel or you can click the link below to get the rest of the solution up to that is from question 11 to 50 so now we factor 2ax out so we are going to have 2b minus y over here and this one we factor 6bx out 6bx out so we have negative 6bx out so we have 2b minus y so we have 2ax minus 6bx and 6bx into 2b minus y so 2x is common again so we factor 2x out again to obtain a minus 3b into 2b minus y